shop and today I'm going to show you how to sew a reversible swimsuit. This is the Hanalei Bay pattern from Peekaboo Pattern Shop. I use the knotted front option for this one. This is a two-piece suit. It comes in a tankini length or in a little bit shorter cropped length. The top and bottoms are both fully reversible which gives you lots of different mix and match looks and it's also super comfortable because you don't have any exposed seams anywhere um, inside the suit. So today we're going to be sewing up the girls version of the swimsuit. This pattern also comes in women's sizing. The one difference with the women's pattern is the top is not reversible. Instead it has a built-in shelf bra with elastic on the inside and optional cups. So that's the one difference with the women's pattern. This pattern also comes with um, an option for a little ruffle that you can add to the bottoms and a skirt. I'm just gonna go over the basic reversible bottoms today. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting out with the swim top. I already sewed the shoulder seams together for the front and back pieces in my two different fabrics. I've got my Hawaiian fabric and my solid. And then I sewed them together along the neckline. If you're making the scoop back, which I am, make sure you line up the backs and the fronts correctly. It's easy to get those mixed up. So make sure you have everything lined up. And then we're gonna leave an inch and a half gap along the back neckline. We're gonna use this hole to turn it right side out later. So after you have that sewn together, you're gonna to turn it right side out. And you don't need to top stitch this neckline yet. We're just gonna do that at the end. So to finish the arms, we're gonna use the burrito roll method. So you're just gonna lay your suit out and then start rolling. And then you're gonna wrap. So here's my outer layer. I'm just gonna flip. This is my accent fabric. I'm gonna fold it over my burrito roll so that I have right sides together. And I like to match up shoulder seams first. Make sure you have all this really tucked in there so you don't catch it in your seam. And then down, just continue down the arms. Now we can sew this together. Now we're gonna turn it right side out. So you'll just reach up inside the suit and pull it through. It can be a little tight in the smaller sizes, but swimsuits fabric's nice and stretchy, so it'll come through. And now we need to just do the same thing for the other side of the suit. We've got this side finished. And roll again. Grab just the outer layer, flip out the lining or your accent fabric. Exactly the same as before. Line up your shoulders and then continue down the arms and sew it together. Have the arm sewn on the second side. One thing I forgot to mention is elastic is optional for this seam and for the neckline. When I sew the women's suit, I always include the elastic. For kids, I think it does fine without it. Sometimes I include it in the bigger kid sizes, but I don't think the elastic is essential in this area, so I'm not including it on this suit. All right, so I have that turned right side out. Now we're gonna sew the side seams. So you'll just grab, this is the back of my suit. I'm just gonna pick this up and match it up with the front. And pin these together along the sides. So 
So I've got my front and back and my outer fabric. Front and back are right sides together in the accent fabric. And we'll just sew together along the side seam. Exact same thing over here on the other side. Just match up the seams right at the armpit. And then continue down both sides. The side seams are sewn together, so now we're going to turn it right side out. We're still not going to top stitch it quite yet. So don't get ahead of yourself. That's coming along. This pattern has a band along the bottom. If you want, you could skip the band and I'll still show you how to finish this bottom edge. I'm doing the knotted option. So I already sewed my tie pieces together with right sides together, and turned them right side out. And they're a little bit wonky, that one is, but you could top stitch these if you want to. I don't bother. Once you have them all knotted and on the finished swimsuit, I think they look just fine as is. So we're gonna line it up with the halfway point on our band. So like this one is three inches. So this is the halfway point right here. Just gonna put this little tail end right here and it's okay if it hangs off the edge a little bit to get it all along there. And then you're just gonna sew right along this curved edge. And then you'll do the same thing down on the other end with your other tie piece. This pattern also has um, a basic band option. I'm just gonna show how to do the tie version today. I'm gonna turn the tie piece right side out, both ends. And this is another area that you could top stitch along here if you wanted to. I don't. Once you have it all sewn together, it stays put just fine. So I'm going to trim off. You'll probably have a bit of like extra seam allowance since this comes to a point. You can just trim that off. And then we're going to overlap it. So make sure this isn't twisted. And then you'll overlap one inch. You should have, it's gonna be pretty close to touching in the middle. You don't want it too far apart or your band's gonna end up kind of loose. So you should have one inch overlapped and it's gonna be pretty close to touching. And then you're gonna baste those together. Once the band is basted together, we're ready to attach it to the top. So we're gonna mark this in quarters. So I'm just gonna fold it in half this way to find the center back. There's my center back. I'm going to fold this way, figure out where to line this up with my side seams. So I'm going to match up front and back right here. If you're having trouble getting the raw edges of your band to stay together, just because swim is rather slippery, you can base them together if you want. So we've got this together. If you don't want to make your swimsuit reversible, you can just slide this on and attach it to both layers and be done. I'm making this reversible, so I'm only going to attach it to the outer layer of the swimsuit first. I'm just going to baste it on. So I'm going to match up the center of these ties with the center front of the swimsuit. So here's my center back notch, so the center front. It's gonna be right here, that in place. And then I'll match up my marked points here with the side seam. And the center back. 
If you're doing the basic band option, your band will have a seam in it and you'll line that up with the center back notch. And then other side seam. So we're gonna be stretching this band just a tiny bit, not a ton. The swimsuit's already fitted, so the band's not that snug, otherwise it would be too tight. So you can see there's just a little tiny bit of stretching. So I'm just gonna base this on because I'll be surging it in the next step when I sew on the accent fabric too. The band is basted to my main layer of fabric. I did not attach it to my accent fabric. So now we're gonna finish up the bottom edge of the suit. If you chose to skip the band, the process for finishing your suit will be exactly the same. You just won't have a band here. So I'm gonna put this over. So I'm looking at the back. We have a notch here on the center back of the accent layer and the main layer. I'm gonna grab the notch on my main layer of fabric, so my floral. I'm gonna bring it up. Suit so is turning inside out as I do this. And now I'm gonna match it up with the notch on the right side of the center back of the accent fabric. So this is the right side of the fabric of my accent layer, notch of my center back of my outer layer. I'm gonna put those two together. The band is in between. I'm gonna match those up. Next, I'm gonna pin the side seams together. Here's the side seam of my main layer. Match that up with the accent layer. And then you can go back and add more pins in between if you want. You're gonna have to stretch it just a little bit because of the band. I'm just gonna keep working our way around here. So this is the front of the swimsuit now. together. It's the next side seam. So as you're pinning this, it's going to just seem like a total tangled mess. But once we turn it right side out, all the edges are going to be so nicely finished. It's going to look perfect. So I've gone all the way around. So you can see as you pin, it just kind of keeps turning itself right side out. So now we're gonna go sew this together. If you're making the crop length swimsuit, I recommend including the swim elastic in this seam just to make sure it doesn't ride up at all with kids jumping in the water. This is the tankini length, so I'm not gonna worry about elastic on this one. Bottom edge is all sewn together. Um, I did forget to note earlier, if you're making the women's swimsuit, you won't be doing this step because it has a shelf bra on the inside instead of the full lining. And so you won't need to worry about this step with the women's and that's in the written tutorial. So before we turn this right side out, I am gonna remove my basting stitches. It's this darker thread here. Otherwise it just removes, so you can see a little bit of stretch from the swimsuit since my basing stitch doesn't have any stretch. So you wanna just take that out and it should pull out pretty easily. You can also just, if you stretch the suit, you hear that popping, that's my basting thread. Now you wouldn't wanna do this if you're worried about popping your main stitching, but my serger does a nice sturdy stitch, so I'm not worried about that. This makes it a little easier to this basting stitch out of here. And even if you leave it in after you've broken the threads, then you know you're not like limiting the stretch at all. I think I've just about got it all out. And we can turn this right side out.
Okay, I've got my basting stitches. I don't know that I got all of them out, but they're at least not like impacting the stretch anymore. So that's really what matters. So we're gonna find where we left our hole to turn this right side out, which was in the back neckline. I have to go on a bit of an adventure to find it. There it is. So here's my hole. And if you forgot to leave a hole, you can just make one right now somewhere along your back neckline, make like an inch and a half hole. Just use your seam ripper and open that seam up. So I'm gonna turn it right side out. And now you can see all of the seams are totally enclosed, which makes this a really comfortable swimsuit to wear. You don't have any seams to bother your kid. This is just some of my thread from my basting stitches. Pull that out. So to finish this up, we just need to top stitch. I like to top stitch along the bottom edge of the suit. You can skip that if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I normally use a zigzag stitch for my top stitching. You can use like a cover stitch or double needle if you want to, but since the suit is reversible, just keep in mind the back side of your stitching is gonna show. I just like that the zigzag looks the same on both sides. So on the neckline, you do have the spot where you turned it right side out. You're gonna have a little hole. Here's my hole right here. So I just wanna make sure you pin this shut and it should naturally, like mine was already laying just the way I need it to. But pin that closed. You can even use like uh, some wash away, like wonder tape if you want to hold that closed. And then you're gonna top stitch around the neckline and the arms and this top will be all done. I finished the top stitching. So now I'm just gonna knot these ties using a square knot and this top will be all finished and we can move on to the bottoms. So there's our finished top. This is what it looks like from this side and then you can reverse it. And there's the other option for the top. So now we're gonna move on to sewing the bottoms. So I went ahead and I already sewed the same side seams together on my main fabric and my accent fabric. So I've got those done. Now we're gonna move on to doing the leg openings. So you need to put these right sides together. Slide your two layers together. Pin them at the side seams. And then keep pinning all the way down and we're gonna do this on both sides. And this is one seam that I am going to include elastic in on this suit. If you're making the skirted version, you can probably get away without it since the bottoms aren't really gonna show anyway. But otherwise, I would recommend including elastic. It just helps everything stay put better. So here's the leg opening. And then I'm just gonna lay my elastic right on top of it as I sew. So I'm just using this clear elastic. Hold it here so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just gonna lay that right on top of my seam as I serge over it. If you're new to using elastic and still trying to kind of figure out how to do this, you can sew your seam first if you want to and then go back over it and attach the elastic with a zigzag stitch. That way you don't have quite as many layers to work with at once. So I normally just pin my fabric and then I just like lay the elastic on there as I go. You don't need to stretch it. The swimsuit already has enough negative ease without stretching the elastic. So I'll go show you how to sew this on. We're gonna do both leg openings. So I'm just gonna lay this elastic right on top. I normally leave a little bit of a tail to try and help me get it started. This is really the hardest part is getting your machine to grab that elastic. So I'm gonna feed this as 
far back as I can under my foot, try and get those needles to grab the elastic as soon as I start sewing. So I can tell it's grabbed onto the elastic now, so I'm just going to keep this lined up with the edge of my fabric and serge it on. And I'm not stretching it, I'm just holding it here on top of the fabric. Probably could have used a few more pins than I did. leg openings are sewn together and I've added elastic to the seams so now I'm going to turn just the front of the swimsuit right side out and now I'm going to put this in between so this is the front of my swimsuit I'm going to put it in between the two back layers so this is still the front this is the main back and the accent back I'm just going to tuck it down in between there and now I'm gonna line up all four layers here at the crotch seam. So here's my front in the accent fabric and main and the back. I'm gonna line all four of these layers up and sew them together. I normally base this on my sewing machine before I serge it just to make sure none of the layers slip and I don't end up with a wonky seam right here. So I'm going to go base this and then serge it. If you're just using a sewing machine, you can just go ahead and sew it together. After you've sewn all four layers together at the crotch seam, you can turn this right side out. Now we're gonna finish the waistline. So you're gonna grab the notch at the center back. It's kind of similar to finishing the bottom edge of our tankini. I'm gonna bring that around. The bottoms will turn inside out, and now we need to match it up with the notch at the center back of our accent fabric. So this is the back. I forgot my notch, so I it marked with a marker. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to match up the center back of the accent with the center back of the main fabric. And we'll just keep working our way around just like we did with the top. Pin the side seams together. And one thing to check when you do the side seams is which way the seam was facing when you did the legs and pin your seam allowance the same direction so that that seam isn't twisted. Just pin all the way around the waistline. All right, so I'm back to where I started. Pin this side seam together. And this is another seam that I highly recommend you include elastic just to make sure these bottoms are nice and snug through the waist. So I'm gonna go sew this together along the top edge and we are gonna leave an inch and a half gap for turning it right side out.
okay, I'm almost back to the beginning. I need to leave a gap here to turn it right side out. So I'm gonna leave this elastic tail so they'll still be able to have elastic along the entire waistline. I'm gonna turn these right side out through the gap that I left. Accidentally made my gap not quite as big as I should have. Looks like it's still gonna fit though. So you turn your bottoms right side out and then we're gonna top stitch. So I'm gonna top stitch along the legs and you could skip it if you want, but I really like to top stitch it just so the accent fabric doesn't try and like peek out when you're wearing it. So along this top edge we have our hole. We've got to make sure we tuck in the raw edges and I'm going to find my elastic tail that I left. I just, and just make sure that that is lined up with this seam. I'm just going to kind of hold it in place from the inside. This part's a little bit tricky. And then I'll just pin it. And if your elastic does slip and you end up with, you know, an inch and a half of the waistline without elastic, it's not going to be a huge deal. So don't stress over it too much. So I've got that gap closed up and now I'm just going to top stitch around the legs and the waist using my zigzag stitch. The bottoms are top stitched along the leg openings and the waistline. I used my zigzag stitch for the top stitching again. So now my swimsuit set is all finished up here and you can mix and match these looks to make four different swimsuits. Super fun. I hope you had fun. With this project, you can find this pattern and many others at peekaboopatternshop.com. Thanks for joining me today.